Here I've got my rhubarb, which is looking really good. Had a little uh, little harvest of that already. Just a little cheeky early one. Got a tree here. I can't remember what it is for the life of me. It's definitely a dwarf fruit tree. I think it's a cherry actually, looking at the, the buds. I would say it was a cherry. There's, there's a few on there. I'm hopeful, though we can still have a frost to knock them all off yet. And here I've got my apple tree. And look at that. Beautiful flowers, absolutely stunning. They're given to me as a 40th birthday present from my mum, so that's quite special. This is my nature bit at the back. I've got currant bushes planted. I've got a huge buddleia here and a few more. I've got a few smaller ones sort of over that way along to cover the fence so that I don't have to look at everybody walking past all the time. I'm just letting all the wild flowers grow, they look absolutely gorgeous. And then this bit, I've just covered it up because it was full of the sticky weed. So I've mulched it with this fabric. And I've planted a squash in there, there's a rhubarb hanging around in there. And I've got another bit here, which is where I put all the cooch grass that I dug up from the whole plot. And I've covered it up to mulch it and it's looking pretty good under there to be fair. So I've planted a squash in there, crown prince. So we've just come across this awesome little slow worm whilst I was That's moving good. some wood at the back of my plot. So I'm just going to leave them alone because they're absolutely brilliant and they eat lots of the pests that get on our nerves as gardeners. Arlo's potatoes are looking epic, he planted these, gosh. Only about six odd weeks ago, the random carrot in there, and um, they're looking absolutely brilliant. Got nasturtium seedlings coming through, some more parsnip seedlings, coriander coming up, a couple more squashes, sunflower seeds all coming up, even though it hasn't been that warm. A couple of tomatoes, which I'm hoping for, for the best. Sweet corn, it's coming along nice. Cavallo Nero, peas and chard. I've got my brassicas here, swede, Romanesco cauliflower, leeks and red cabbage. This is my salad bed. So I've got chives planted at the end here. Verbena, springing back into life. I've got a row of spring onions all the way along. My radishes, which are going great. They're looking like radishes at last. They're going to be the first crop of the year. It's always pretty exciting, to be fair. And at the end here, we've got an allium. Some thyme with more chives. Then got a row of Lolo Rosso. They're looking really so this nice is my too. new dwarf cherry tree that I've just planted. I've put some wood chip around the bottom and added some weeds to try and recreate a woodland floor. I think it's pretty cool. I shall plant some squash around it. This is my new herb bed. I've put some jasmine in the middle. We've got all sorts in there. We've got some mint, got some lemon balm, chives, basil, some red dead nettle. I'm really pleased with this.